and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shub, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, it's all about me. Two simple <laughs> things. It's always about him. Yeah, it's always about me. Two simple things that lowered my blood pressure without medication. That's so, what we like to hear, Bob. We'll we'll keep we're going to get into this really deep. Uh, by the way, if you're new to our oh, channel, yeah. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. I just noticed you have tape on your own. Yeah, uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, you can also go to our giveaway. We're always giving a gi uh, gift or something giveaway. We have better than a gift today. Yeah. Uh, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're actually giving away a blood pressure cuff. Yeah, that's uh, only part of it, though. That's only part yeah, of it. This the, is the Bob the Brad blood pressure cuff. Yeah. Complete unit. <laughs> yeah. You can also go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page, the contest that it is. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And we'll also have the podcast out there just to chime in away. You'd think we never did this before. That's right. <laughs> anyway, let's it's, carry on. Yeah. Okay, so Brad, I was finding my blood pressure was creeping up a little bit. Mm. It wasn't terrible, but yeah. it was... I, I had some measurements that were in the 140s for the, mm. the systolic, right? Yep. And uh, the it, it was up to 88, like on the diastolic. 88? Yeah. Ooh. So it's starting to get up there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's you're getting into that warning sign. Let's, and I don't know if it's from working with you or what. Well, that <laughs> might be an issue. That's always, uh, that's what my wife says. So anyway, I, I tried a few things, and uh, I really don't know which one of these worked the best. I hope uh, she doesn't watch this. Video. Yeah, I hope she doesn't watch this. <laughs> Exactly. Let's get. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so I tried two things, and one thing that worked for my wife was to have ground flax seeds, and, yep. and she just takes a couple of tablespoons of that a morning. Yep. I think two tablespoons a morning, mm -hmm. and just mix it in with your, you know, your oatmeal, or that's what I put it in. I put it in my yogurt. You put it in your yeah, because I started taking it a few yeah. months ago. And you're supposed to take the ground. The ground kind. Yeah, you know I that? get the organic ground. Yeah. You know, if you eat the whole seed, that's probably a... So a Canadian study found that eating 30 grams of flaxseed daily for six months lowered systolic and diastolic pressure by 10 millimeters per mercury and 7 millimeters per mercury, respectfully. So oh, they, top and bottom? Yeah, yeah the top mm -hmm. and the bottom. So, and... Uh, you know, I've I've had more than that. I have more uh, dropped than that. So I I think maybe both of these things are working. So the second thing, do you want to hear it? So the first thing was the flaxseed. Flaxseed. Okay. The second thing was, do you remember that book you borrowed of me on breathing? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So in this book on breathing, they did an experiment where the guy actually plugged up his nose, mm -hmm. his nose, and his friend's nose for I don't know was it a month. I don't remember how long it was, but he was, so he's just mouth reading. During that time, his blood pressure went way up. Mm -hmm. His anxiety levels went way up. Everything was bad. Right. Uh, right. I remember that. Yeah. The book is breath, I believe, or breathe. Yeah, breathing That's a, or something like yellow that. Yellow book. Yeah. Breathe on there. And it's done by, uh, there's a, a number of uh, studies in there that are stated. It's It's all. And so I, I looked on online too, and yes, there is studies that support that uh, a nose breather has lower blood pressure than a mouth breather. Mm -hmm. Now I've been a mouth breather my entire life, and I think it, and part of it is because I I don't <laughs> breathe through one of my you're, nasal. You're, you're clogged up on a little side, bit so on that side, yeah. Congested or uh, deviated what, septum. Deviated. There you go. Yeah. So. I started, and you had mentioned this, and that's where I got it from, and I don't know if you got it from the book, but I started at night taping my mouth shut. Yeah. My yeah. wife really appreciates this. So, Well, I, I've done it, and, and my wife, too. And you got some nice tape here. Yeah, this is uh, the tape we're using. Where is right that? Here. Yeah, Next Care? Next Care. It's just a surgical tape, like a... Uh, it's pain free and it's it's uh, hyperallergenic. It's yeah. for sensitive skin. Yep, yep. So, um, I mean, I to be honest with you, I've I've actually used Scotch tape. I'm surprised you don't use duct well, tape. Well, it's a little cheaper than this. <laughs> yeah, it'll work fine. I just put it on there like that. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, oh, oh, it's kind of weird. No, it's it's weird, but it works. And the only thing I found, and I had sometimes trouble breathing through my nose, mm -hmm. and I, I would go, 
Yeah. And you, if you have trouble breathing, your mouth separates enough that you start breathing through your mouth again. Right. You don't seal yeah, it up. It if doesn't you, seal. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So I started using the breathe rights yeah. tapes. Well, the other I wanted to mention about the the taping here. I was doing it because of dry mouth. Oh sure. I wake up and my mouth felt like it was sandpaper. It's not fun. Um, but it was helpful for that. I don't eat it anymore. And I'm not having that issue. It's, you know uh, what? Seem, well. Also seems to be Brad. I might be wrong on this, but it seems like my teeth are whiter. Like I'm not. I don't know. No, I'm serious. Like I think uh, Dennis out there is. We got to get this. onto the blood All pressure right, thing. Buddy. There's a lot of benefits to this. Yeah, so good. anyway, we, I started using the Breathe Right strips. It's right here. That yeah. They pull your, it's, they're spring loaded. You tape them down and they pull the nostrils apart. I've never had them on before. I thought it was kind of a bunch of hooey. I thought it was a bunch of hooey but too. It, it does feel it like does, it does open them up slightly. It does. Mm -hmm. Now, the only problem I have with these, Brad, is um, one, you're not going to keep buying them. But two, they, they start irritating the skin a little bit. I, I started noticing on that. Well, it's because you're sensitive. Yeah, I have a sensitive guy. But so, so I, again, we're continuing to get the breathing through the nose. Right. So but, the blood pressure. Yeah, my goes daughter down. recommended these. Ooh. These are called nose vents. They're plastic. I don't know. Should I put them in? Are yeah. they hard plastic? Or they're no, little, soft. They, they're soft. Okay. Yeah, so you can just stick them in your nostrils. I know this is gross. Yeah, that is gross. But it works. Now the only well, they, they stay in pretty good. Yeah, they actually work better than the breathe rates, I think. Yeah. But they they can fall out sometimes, and you find them in bed, you know. <laughs> but no. I I prefer these, yeah. so I got this on, and I got the tape on my mouth. Yeah. So all right, all this led to though my blood pressure was like one forty two over eighty eight, dropped down to one seventeen over seventy eight, pretty consistently. Okay. So um. I think that's, you know, but that, but the so that wasn't zone. the flaxseed wasn't a part of that drop. It was it? both of them. Okay, so, so I don't know which one did it, this or I, I think they both did it. Yeah, to be honest yeah, with you, yeah. because uh, so if you're already taking blood pressure medicine, you got to make sure um, you get things checked out with your doctor before right. you try anything. Yep, because, exactly. You know, um, uh, blood uh, flaxseeds also lower blood pressure in people who are taking medication too. Too so. Um, you want to make sure that it's okay to lower it even more. Oh, you know right, I mean? right. You don't so, want to go too low. That's for sure. And, and flaxseed has a lot of other nutrients, other nutrients that are, you know, healthy for it's you. It's got the, some fiber yeah, in it. Yeah. It's good for the gut health, I understand, yeah, I think for your too. microbiome. So the Bob and Brad massage, uh, massage, Bob and Brad pressure, blood pressure cup. Right. So very simple to use. It, it actually got some things like it tells you which way the shoulder is and yeah. where the artery should be. And user friendly user, user friendly yep. now the thing is that i don't know if you can hear that Keep the cup at heart level. Start measuring it, now. it actually talks to you yeah so did you talk back i, I don't <laughs> yeah. now, so it makes it easy so you know where you're right at. and at the end it tells you the measurement and tells you whether it's high or low okay. so if you do have trouble with vision or you know sure right um mm -hmm. understand it my only criticism of our own unit here right. is that it fills up very slowly. Oh. You know, mm -hmm. they used to have music. Remember? When yeah. We, had, yeah. We were like, I didn't like that at first, but after after a couple of times, I was like, oh. It yeah, is. it's kind of soothing. But, you know, this is something you should not do when you're in a rush. No. You should take your blood pressure in a relaxed state. You should sit and relax for a few minutes. I've heard five minutes. Five minutes. And you should sit. And a 90, 90, 90, 90, so that your your feet aren't dangling. You don't have your feet on a, you know, Bob has it 90 degree look hips. That. Oh, look at that. 107 oh, over 74. Yep. So I'm really relaxed around you, Brad. Yeah, well, yeah. See, I'm th you, now, you thought it was me. And a 67 pulse. pulse. Is that about normal? Too? Yeah, that's about mm -hmm. normal. Now, I, I I did not like these units because I always felt they weren't very accurate. Yep. But I I just had my blood pressure taken at the at the doctor's yep. and it, it was correlated with this. Mm -hmm. And I've been using this one for months right. and it stayed steady. Right. Uh, my wife was going up and down because she was doing she was lying down while doing it, sitting up while yeah. doing it. And like you said, it should be the same time every day. You should make sure you're in the same position. Right. Because I know mine. Gets weird when I lie down. Yeah. It, oh, it just, right. It just it's physics at work. Yeah. It, right. Your heart doesn't have to pump up and whatever. Uh, but anyways, yeah, 
I, I always like to take mine in the morning in the same chair, in the same position, and I do the same thing. I put a pillow because yeah. it's in my recliner. I put a pillow yeah. there. You want to have it cl close to heart level, yeah. so, mm -hmm. the cuff. So yeah. there we go, folks. Okay. Good uh, luck with your blood pressure. Yeah, let's see if we can get knocked down. Try a couple of these things. You know, you can really, your partner in bed is really going to be thrilled with you. Yeah. Yeah, but you, remember, you don't want to get too low either. Well, I don't think most people are worried about that, Brad. Well, but it, there are some people. If, if you're on blood pressure medicine, you do have to worry about that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. all, right. all right. Very good. Good luck and be careful. Yep.